clean the item to the best possible state by polishing if necessary. For safety, make sure that you wear gloves, vinyl, put goggles on, face mask on. Set the probes by wrapping the swap on it. One probe for each solution. Make sure that the leads are well plugged according to their colours. Make sure that each solution in plastic containers is placed in a separate tray to avoid contamination. Gold plating process. Switch the machine on. Hold or clip the item with a crocodile clip connected to the black lead. To activate the item, set the voltage between 4 and 5. Using the probe, apply the stainless steel activator all over the desired plating surface. Just enough to cover it once or twice. Then rinse it by spraying some water onto it. Next, set the voltage between 9 and 10. Holding the item with a clip again, use the next probe plugged on the red lead to apply the gold solution. Apply the first layer all over the item for about 5 minutes. Then stop and check the progress. Rinse if necessary and apply another layer to build up a thicker coat for about 10 minutes. Then rinse and polish it with the gold polish and sealant. At this stage your item is golden shiny. That is the end of the process for gold plating a stainless steel item. If the item is chrome plated, you need to strip the chrome off first. For this you switch to polarity. You plug the black lead on the red output on the plating unit and the red on the black output. Then with another fresh probe, using the chrome stripper solution, brush over the item with the voltage set between 9 and 10. A distinguished yellowish colour will indicate that the process is happening. Looking at the item, you can notice a difference of colour between the stripped part and the chromed part. When finished, rinse it and set the polarity back to normal, red on red and black on black. Then repeat the both process of gold plating.